Hey everyone, welcome back to the Steel Donut Collective. This is Blake here, and I'm with Connor. Hello there. Now, Connor, you may not know this, he is um, an older boy. Yeah, that's why I do all my things over the internet, never in person. And that's why I hunted down this WikiHow article, just so I could learn how to attract an older boy that isn't Connor. Oh. But a, another older boy. <clears throat> oh. Oh, are you competing for my heart? Or I guess oh, someone else's didn't... heart? Oh, no, no, no. That's how you just... really feel about me, Blake, huh? I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, this is How to Attract an Older Boy on WikiHow. On WikiHow. Yeah, back to WikiHow. For many younger girls, it can be hard to find a guy their age who is mature and classy enough to be worth their time. Because that's totally what they're looking for. While it can be a great experience dating someone with more years on you, a potential older boyfriend will be looking for more than a guy your own age. He'll probably be looking for a girl your own age. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> uh, excuse me, you completely lied to me in your OkCupid profile. Uh, because you'll have years between the two of you, attracting an older boy can be tricky. <laughs> you, see, you see, and I'm not sure if you viewers noticed, but there was proof that Connor is indeed an older boy, because he doesn't know that we now use Tinder and not OkCupid. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess so. Yeah. <laughs> then again, this person might be using Grinder for all we can tell. Uh yeah. So far after that one sentence, that. I'm really not sure what ge what gender this is supposed to be towards. Well, hey, that's why you always um, should phrase all your sentences in big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of... It's a gender free article, you know. The wiki how yeah. you know no specifics. All right, let's start with part one. Considering your reasons for dating, I guess it's good to start. You know, overall. She's she's apparently thinking about a corpse. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That guy's dead. <laughs> she's apparently thinking about this commercial she saw on TV. You know, one of those where the dudes just stand in front of white walls and spin around in their suit coats or whatever. I think she's like trying to figure out um, how successful she'll be with her new business in exhumed suits. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How how much can she sell? Can, yeah, can she get for that? All right. Step one. Ask yourself why you want an older boyfriend. Well, then again, I guess I'm glad we're starting with the specifics. You better figure this shit out if you're going to go look. There are many reasons why you might want a relationship with a boy that's older than you. Most of the time, we see older people and it's more sophisticated and mature. And the depending upon the age gap, you might just be able to uh, get him in legal trouble and then reap the benefits, all that cash. Oh shit, she's got Sue him. She's got a long-term plan going. Yeah. This is most often the case, but not always. Some older boys will be just as immature as they ever were. You know, men. Yeah. <laughs> Us men. You know, that's the reason why every time before I go to bed, I always read a Dr. Seuss book to myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I never grew up. <laughs> that's why I get wasted on those Mike's Harder Lemonades. That's why I get wasted on those high C punch boxes. That's what purple drink is, right? That high C grape. Yeah, high you know, C that's grape. purple. People drink it, right? Man, I think if you did drink enough of that stuff, you'd, you'd do something pretty <laughs> you'd crazy. You'd fucking die. <laughs> you'd go straight into a coma. You'd never wake up again. Yeah, I don't know what they put in the grape, but I never drink that one. It tastes weird. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. So, next picture isn't even a thought bubble. She's just staring at like this floating circle of hearts. It's somebody else's thought that's just off <laughs> oh, the right yeah. part of the screen. <laughs> uh, excuse me, can you not do that, please? Personal space, you know? It, it's like Garfield, you know, because you can see his thoughts. Oh, yeah, yeah. Step two, make sure you want a relationship for the right reasons. A relationship should be pursued because you feel a legitimate connection with the other person. There's no point in dating an older boy because you think it will make you appear cooler. Before committing to a relationship, you should make sure you're ready for a relationship. Especially if you're looking to date someone older than you, there's that much less... Less what? <laughs> I guess less sentences? Well, you less see, need um, to have rounded paragraphs? Well, you see, here's the thing. When you're dating, you want to never finish your sentences. It makes you appear more mysterious. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I see. You always want to keep them guessing. Exactly, Connor. I think you finally are starting to get... <laughs> Just no, no, all see, see, when you're young, this new generation of internet tweens or whatever, 
You know, they're throwing all those abbreviations in. You know, next thing you know, they don't even need to finish their sentences. You know, they just kind of leave it open and hanging. Exactly. They say it's true love when you can finish each other's sentences. I say it's true love when you leave sentences unfinished. Yeah, it's true love when you don't need to finish any sentences. Because you're just telepathically linked. I mean, yeah. romance. All right. Step three. Think about someone who's completely different than you. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> uh, also, I don't think I that wish guy's I any blonde. older than her. <laughs> I wish I had blonde hair that somehow became dark halfway down. Um, I wish I had those fucking bangs that only like fictional Disney princesses do. Man, I really wish that guy was older than her. She looks older than him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wait. Well, it looks like it looks like Ann Coulter hugging a seven foot tall fifteen year old. Yeah, I guess so. Maybe there's an alternate article for how to attract an older girl. <laughs> how to attract an older girl, yeah. 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 Three, consider how an age gap might affect a relationship. If two people are at different stages in their lives, it can bring up issues in communication. For instance, if you want to go out and party with your older boyfriend, he might be at a part of his life where he's had his fun and prefers a night indoors. I guess he's like... For instance... Fucking oh, ancient. It, yeah, I was going to say, for instance... You know, you might be dropping those that boy memes, and he's, like, all about rage comics still, you know? Yeah. No, seriously, he might come home after a long day at work and just, like, smoke a cigar and drink a <laughs> cognac or something. Yeah, he's, he, like, he's just got, like, a thing of a Callan 25. He, he might talk about how things were back in the Reagan years. Oh, Some yeah. Some shit like that. In some cases, it can be hard to have a sense of equality in a relationship when one person has considerably more life experience than the other. Huh. Seriously, I like how much this wiki article is telling people to, like, really, really, really think this through. You know? How much older are we talking? I mean, at this Fucking point... Fucking ancient, it, apparently! At, at this point, yeah, it might, it might as well be, you know, how to attract Bill O'Reilly. Well, yeah, don't you know the rule of dating? Whatever age you are... You flip the numbers and you try to date that age. Like, if you're 18, try to find an 81-year-old. Uh, well, I'm 20, so that means I'm dating someone who's 2. Yeah, well, you're, a, you're a, that, that, that makes you a button file, you know, like Benjamin Button. When The younger you are, the older a person you want to date. The older you are, the younger a person you want to date. You know, you know what's even worse? <laughs> even, when I grew, even when I turn 21, it's not going to be any better, because all of a sudden I'll be dating someone who's 12. I hate this rule. <laughs> yeah um, keep these potential problems in mind before you commit on the other hand some maintain that age is just a number oh my god <laughs> yeah the people yeah those people might actually be perfectly okay with 20 on 2 yeah someone's reading this article and coming in to uh, argue against it like um well excuse me um I think you'd find that in, in fact you know just slam on their keyboards. You don't want to look too biased in your wiki some articles maintain that, towards sensibility. Some maintain that age you know? is just a number. Age is... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you know, some maintain that age is just a number. Some people, you know, do marketing campaigns for Subway. Yeah, yeah. They need to bring back the $5 footlongs. <laughs> that would be a great marketing campaign. Hey, America, you want subs? All right, have them. You know, we're lowering the price. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> There's no concrete reason why people of different ages can't connect on a deep, meaningful level. Oh, Man, excuse that's... me. There, there's, no, there, there's no concrete reason why people of different ages can't connect on a deep, meaningful level. I, that seriously sounds really creepy, just the way those things are together. Some maintain age is just a number. There's no concrete reason why people of different ages can't connect. It's like, please don't say these things. <laughs> All right, uh, picture four and... Oh, okay. <laughs> I like how the person on the right is in a completely different art They're All three of them are in a completely different art style. Yeah, yeah. What the? How did that happen? Like, look, they're all completely different. Oh, my God. Bare shoulders? How how lewd and crude. Lewd. Yeah, that's what happens when you're, you're an 18-year-old dating an 81-year-old. Step four. Prepare yourself for criticism. And I'm hoping that that number three takes you to how to prepare yourself for criticism. Man, these people really love psychology today. Okay, seriously, if you just right-click on the citation and select go there, it will just take you to a random fucking place. I just got sent all the way down to article info on the bottom with all these, like, foreign languages. Well, that's what you get for trying to, uh, new tab a footnote. Yeah, I guess so. 
if there was a significant age gap between you and the guy you're with, like, for example, 70 <laughs> years, there are a number of problems you should prepare to deal with that you wouldn't normally have to think about. Even if your relationship is perfect, other people are prone to make nasty assumptions about an age gap relationship. There's, there's only so much you can do to fend off these naysayers. Ultimately, it's your relationship, not theirs, and you shouldn't put their feelings before your own. Hey, oh my god, look, they're about to go there in that bullet point. Just read it. If you're under the age of 18, you should consider the legal consequences of someone who is older than you. If the age gap is big enough to make a sexual relationship illegal, you should not go through with it. Well, I, I will say it's good that you put it there, but... oh. Uh... Uh, yeah. Well, she's got the long con, remember? She's gonna sue him for oh, yeah, all those exactly. make-out sessions they had yeah, when my... she was 17 years and 10 months old. Exactly. You see, my, 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 the plane I referred to earlier, I mean, that's what's gonna happen. Yeah. And then, in a strange, crazy plot twist, they're gonna get married, and then she's gonna kill him so she can get the, the will money. And a strange, crazy plot twist, he was also doing the same thing to her and just lying about his age. Wow, he was actually like six years old. Yeah, he was two small children in a regular-sized person suit. In a trench coat, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow, she got played. She turns 18 and she gets sued. It's like a really, really bizarre version of how to lose a guy in ten days. <laughs> yeah, you're right. All right. A perfect crime. Part two, <laughs> interacting with him. And by interacting with him, I guess we mean getting on your phone and completely ignoring him. I'd say, I'd say it looks like she just jumped in front of him and took a selfie, and he's like, uh, what are you doing? I'm no, that's not, even, that's not even selfie position. She's, fo- she's, she's taking a picture of whatever's in front of her. Man, how do you know she's not taking a, a, a selfie of her, just her lips? <laughs> <laughs> just her lips? Yeah. That's how I take all my selfies. Sure. <laughs> also, I like the guy. He's like suddenly going, "What the fuck is this shit?" Exactly. Like I said, she jumped in front. He's like, "What, what the fuck?" I'm trying to do stuff. Step one: be his friend first. In virtually all cases of trying to make someone your boyfriend, you should be his friend first before anything romantic happens. Go out of your way to spend time with him. Ask him to hang out as you normally would with a regular friend. Unless you run into problems due to age difference where you want to party and he wants to smoke his cigar and watch old 70s reruns. You know, kids these days, back in my day, yeah. they just smack you upside the head and be done with it. <laughs> back in my day, we had quality programming like, you know, Gunsmoke, and now it's just TLC shows about 18-year-old midgets or some shit like that, you know? Just watch and leave it to Beaver. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. These kids need some good quality entertainment. Uh, the Beverly Hillbillies. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if there is chemistry and the two of you are emotionally available, there's a good likelihood that things will begin to take shape in time. For the meantime, however, you should simply enjoy the experience of hanging out as friends. Step one to um, making someone your boyfriend. Friend zone yourself. <laughs> oh, wow, yeah. <laughs> You thought you thought I was friend zoning you. I was friend zoning me. Picture number two. Uh, that's an interesting hairstyle. Which one, Halle Berry or like Seth Rogen? Yeah, Seth Rogen. Oh, you know what? He's pining after those bare shoulders. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. In the Saudi Arabian society. Step two: Let him take the lead by standing in front of him. Unless the older boy in question is incredibly shy, the fact that he has more life experience will probably mean that he'll be the one to instigate something. Instigate? Are you starting to fight? <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> like, he's not going to initiate, he's going to instigate. <laughs> he expected you to bake him a whole roast duck or some shit on the first oh. date. Oh man, if anyone ever wants me, they just have to cook me a roast duck. Cook, cook you a roast duck, yeah. I love roast duck, yeah. Some guys can be made to feel uncomfortable by a girl that is very forward, especially someone who is younger than them. If it doesn't look like he's going to make a move out of shyness, you should think about making a move yourself. This should occur if he has shown signs of interest but hasn't acted on it over the course of a few hangouts. Well, I mean, I wouldn't act... I I would feel very uncomfortable asking someone out over Google Hangout. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. I've got the five hangout rule or the five hour rule, whichever one happens first. <laughs> if I've been in five Google Hangouts with them, or if I if my cumulative total time with them has approached five hours, that's when I go straight for the date. It, it works. It works. It works. It does. Too bad no one's on Google Hangouts because Google Hangouts still sucks. <laughs> 
hey, but I, have, I can just load up one of those sick apps and put, like, a digital mustache on my face. Yeah, yeah. That makes it so much better. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, ooh, step three, give him that knowing look. That that knowing, slightly cross-eyed look. <laughs> <laughs> she looks like she's, you know, it looks like, like, to draw this picture where he just traced the uh, Rowan Atkinson meme. <laughs> yeah. I like, really, mmm. I really like the perspective on the background art, you know that couch and then that table, <laughs> compared to what they should be. Yeah, it, it's like you know what we can't have them just be in a blank empty void. Let's put a couch back there. They're sitting on a coffee table and she's like passing the like gas and he's yeah. just like what? She tries to look at him, but she actually has severe trouble because she has like twenty eighty vision. And he's like, oh my god, I can't believe I no- I didn't notice until now. <laughs> She's fucking blind. <laughs> Step three, treat him as an equal. Mm. But, except for when you want to let him take the lead, whatever. This is where it can be difficult for some girls who try to attract older guys. While your first instinct may be to be completely submissive towards the boy, this will only go to show your age. I mean, if it's if it's that much of a disparity, is he really a boy anymore? <laughs> Today you turn 60. It yeah. is the year boys become men. I haven't been a boy since I was shipped out to World War II! <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, instead, you should take age out of the equation when it comes to talking to him. If it makes you feel more comfortable, pretend he is the same age as you. Okay. Relationships usually need a sense of balance between the two people in order to succeed. Were, were you just talking about uh, how there might be disparities because you're dropping, you know, sick tween lingo at he's literally 80 years old? I don't know. Well, yeah, but, I mean, that's that's where true love happens. This article doesn't know what it wants, all right? All oh, right. my God, number four. Step four? Oh, yeah. Hold his gaze. And then a footnote, which, yeah... Eye contact is a very powerful part of body language, and it's especially important in terms of flirting. If you're attracted to a guy, you could say a lot simply by making eye contact with him and holding his gaze, and then doing some crazy stuff with your eyebrows, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, you know, there's there's a bunch of eyebrow techniques you can use. You could do the double arches, you know, the golden M. Yeah, I like or, the classic, um, I like the classic moves. Remember that classic classic viral video girl with weird talent yeah yeah now that that's what's hot like girls you learn how to do that that's all you need or better yet you know girls if anyone's listening if anyone's looking to attract an older boy you gotta bust out the two eye wink oh yeah the two eye yeah wink. yeah guys love that shit um flirting covers a wide range of different behaviors but most flirting begins with steady eye contact this kind of gaze is best combined with a smile, instead of, you know, a frown or a grimace or some shit like that. That way, it will tell the boy that you're looking at him for good, as opposed to negative reasons. Man, I don't know, but, like, if, if I'm going to sit here and stare into somebody's eyes, I prefer to just, like, um, just pull my lower lip underneath my teeth and just sort of give them the old buck teeth. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You I find that that's a really... Where you're like... <laughs> Yeah, it's really attractive look. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I say between this one and the next one, it seems like you're going for that. Um, oh yeah, the girlfriend meme. I'm looking more at her hands. She's throwing some. She's either doing sign language or throwing some sick gang signs. Hold his gaze and always smile. <laughs> smile at him always. Never happy, look happy, away. Joy, never joy. stop smiling. Smiling is a universal language for warm feelings and affection. If you smile at the boy you're interested in, you'll be projecting positive vibes in his direction. If he notices your smile and smiles back at you, it's a sign he's probably interested in you. Is this like how to attract an older boy if you're Rain Man? I mean, <laughs> yeah. it's like it's like if you're trying to attract someone, look at them sometimes. Be near them sometimes. Smile at them. Smiling means good thing. I mean, like... <laughs> what? Like, like, why, who doesn't know this? Why does this need to be an all-encompassing article? Why can't you learn how to attract anyone, anyone. <laughs> before you have to learn how to attract an older boy? Yeah, even her, she's sort of shrugging, like, I guess this is a smile. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to follow step five from that Wikipedia art- from that WikiHow article, but there's so many steps. Oh, God, what if I just did it in the wrong order? <laughs> what if I smiled without staring at him? 
Exactly. She's just staring off into the distance with a smile. She's been smiling for 20 minutes, and then she just realized, oh, shit, I need to look at him, too. Oh, my God, this next picture. Oh, yeah, this <laughs> is what happens when you do it wrong. He's just yeah, like... Yeah, she's like, she's like, oh, my God, what is she doing? She's like, 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 just staring down and holding up two fingers, and he's like, no. Oh, you know what? They just did rock, paper, scissors. He played paper. She played scissors. She oh, yeah, wins. he just lost. Oh, yeah, yeah. Guys hate losing rock, Thanks. paper, scissors. If you're flirting with an older guy, you let him win rock, paper, scissors 100% of the time. Number six, offer compliments. Saying something nice about someone can be interpreted as a form of flirting. Really? Seriously, why is, why is Rain Man learning how to, how to attract an older guy? Complimenting a boy based on his looks or other traits you find attractive will let him know you're interested. Make sure your compliments are genuine, however... People are usually able to tell when a compliment is sincere or not. You look good. You look real good. Yeah. The best. I like your <laughs> really broad Pretty shoulders. Teeth. <clears throat> All right. And then step seven. Oh, no. You turned around now. He's completely lost interest. He's staring up at, like, something else. You lost your chance with him. He's looking up at the tile on the wall or some shit like that. Nice short sleeve sweater, though. Yeah, I guess so. Seven, make sure he respects your boundaries. Because the boy you're interested in is older than you, it's possible he has different ideas of what he wants in a relationship with a girl. Although you may feel pressured to give in, you should only ever do what feels comfortable with you. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. No Part jokes there. Yeah. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Part three, developing maturity. Uh, What's going on in this picture? She got mad drunk and she's about to become the uh, the scene of a very viral video. Connor, look on the right. It's the same picture from earlier. That chick with the phone. Oh, yeah. This is what she was doing. Man, that Except could be a meme. Just like put that. Just like just like show shit going on. She's like in the phone, background. Yeah. yeah. Photoshop chick with phone into random shots. And the first things we're going to get is like, I don't know, that one Vietnam one. And like nine eleven, <laughs> yeah. Like she's just at every disaster, just like whatever. <laughs> but yeah, but seriously, like I don't know. Are you about to like open the door and get on the floor or something? What are you doing? She's just like, well, I yeah, know. And those guys are yeah. like, oh yeah, it's eleven. Did I get that reference right? Did I? Did I? She's like, I'm, she's a, like, I'm part of your group, right? She's like, oh, you know, I really like. Uh, Joey from Friends. Yeah, all, all in the Family is my favorite TV show. I've I seen that, every episode. I like how you're going for 80 and like, I'm like Friends. I'm going for like 35. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, number one, start hanging out with older people. Relating emotionally to people older than you can be hard if you're not used to spending time with you. What? If you're not used to spending time with you... Well, hey, You're man, right, you, you know? should get to know yourself before you get to know anyone else. <laughs> I don't yeah. know what just to say to that. No, you <laughs> Yeah, I guess we gotta start at step zero back here. Yeah. Understand yourself as a person. Yeah, we gotta help you out, Rain Man. <laughs> yeah. I'll never attract an older boy like this. Yeah, figure out your hand-eye coordination so you're not bumping into random shit. Uh, figure out how to say your name so that, you know, that that That's really it. helps out. Mm-hmm. Uh... Figure out your place in the world. It gives you solace at night. Unless it doesn't. In which case, my bad. Exactly. This is why it's recommended that you try to surround yourself with people that are older than you. Make friends with people in the boys' age range and get comfortable with hanging out with people with more experience than you. Ugh, bad sentence. This could be hard to do if you don't already have older friends. If you have, excuse me. If you have older siblings, you might try tagging along with some of their hangouts. Yeah, because nothing says I'm cool than being the tag along. Yeah. Hey, hey, older sister, can I join your Google Hangout? No. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> no. Seriously, if you want an older boy, you got to dump all your friends and go hang out with his crowd. you got to get into the cigar lounge and smoke like a Cuban with him or some shit like that. You know, this is even, you know, you know, it's it's pretty much impossible. You know why, Connor. Why? No new friends. Oh, yeah. Shit. Well, I mean, you got to drop all that shit. You know, you got to drop all those lessons. Go back to, you know, the roaring 50s and 60s or whatever. 
Oh, I see. So no new friends only applies if you're a millennial. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're right. You got to go back and you got to appreciate that classic, uh, you know, bebop and jazz and all that shit. Okay. And an add-on. If you want to make older friends, you won't be able to depend on your classes. Like, high school classes? Oh my god, I guess that's what it is. Extracurricular clubs are a place where people of different ages will get together with a common interest. If you work a job, there will likely be older co-workers you can befriend as well. What? What kind of lazy-ass person is hoping, like, hey, maybe in my math class there'll be some dude who's on his 17th year of high school... I can go smoke pot with him behind the dumpsters today. I was, I was say, that's the sort of guy that you really want to have a relationship with. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hello, my fellow teenagers. How are you doing? Steve Buscemi with his music band shirt. Steve class. Buscemi. Yeah. Uh, like, hey. Whoa, okay. Uh, step two, get fused with a rabbit. Have a rabbit's uh, mouth. You got two say- buck teeth. I was about to say, she's doing, um, little do you know, Connor, she's just doing a cosplay of Fievel from an American tale. Oh, wow, yeah. <laughs> Step two, follow through with whatever you say you're going to do. Oh, that rhymes. What? Okay. Uh, okay. Reliability is a hallmark of any truly mature person. Regardless of the age you're trying to attract, it will work to your benefit if people are able to see that you're a girl of your word. If you make a promise, do everything you possibly can to follow through with it. Don't flake out on plans you make. When you follow through with the things you say, everything you say will have a greater sense of weight in the eyes of others. This includes any older guys you may fancy. You know you, you know you've gotten mature enough when you use the word fancy as a verb. Well, you already know. No, see, that's my that's my insider scoop. That's me adding extra advice to this wiki page. In fact, and that's I me should adding, make an addition um... to this afterwards. I was like, they almost forgot to tell people how to, like, you know, eat without, without like, just eating with your hands. It's like, whenever you eat, make sure you use a fork and a knife. I know as a teenager that new wave of eating involves just scooping shit up with your hands, but you know what? The classy gentlemen and ladies use forks. It's okay if you need to start slow. You can start with a plastic fork, or maybe even a spork if that's the closest thing nearby. But after a couple weeks, you should try to move to uh, to to metal. Yeah, maybe go to the dollar store get some of those like cheap like you know yeah. baby spoons. Yeah, take it in steps, but you'll have to use real silverware someday. All right, uh, step three. I guess recreate old ass musicals. She's doing the Gone with the Wind. Or sound of music thing right now. Exactly. The hills are alive. Yeah, yeah. She's doing that specific line. Oh, man. Step three, be proud of who you are. Self-esteem is a major sign of maturity. It's natural for young boys and girls to feel a lot of insecurity as they grow up. If you want to catch the attention of an older boy, you are... You space-er going to need to match the sort of self-assurance that is common with his age range. Challenge any negative thoughts that enter your mind and replace them with positive thoughts about yourself. I guess this is now a self-help article. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. We're going to reinvent you by the end of this article and maybe, just maybe, you'll score a date with an older boy. Yeah, apparently the process of attracting an older boy includes completely changing everything about you and growing up. Yeah, yeah. Grow up and tell you're the age of that boy. Even if you have to fake it until you make it at first, you'll eventually start to believe it sincerely. Remember that there is no right or wrong answer when it comes to self-esteem. There's no objectively wrong reason to have confidence in yourself. I guess that's true, but again, like, why are there why are there so many steps that are indirectly, or not even not even indirectly, not, just not related at all? Step four is going to be diet and exercise, and step five is going to be get eight hours of sleep. Well, look at the, actually, pretty much, look at number four. Keep a journal. (laughs) Learn how to write. I know you might just put random scribbles down on the page, but eventually, as you try the letters enough, they will begin to look like the letters you're trying to write. I know somehow you avoided all writing classes for the first 15 years of your life, but, you know, older boys, uh, you know. No child left behind. They like it if you could spell your own name. Yeah. Step four, keep a journal. Keeping track of your daily thoughts and feelings in a journal is a great path to self-discovery. What the shit? 
You might be surprised how much you'll find out about yourself if you make a regular habit of keeping a diary. Buy any book of lined paper or keep a word file on your computer where you can add thoughts at the end of each day. If you become aware of the things you're thinking and feeling on a daily basis, you'll get a stronger grasp of the way other people see you. That literally didn't mention attraction once. That didn't have anything to do with attracting an older boy. Again, like I said, apparently the path to attracting an older boy involves everything else that you might do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, it's an, like, this is something where you just, you have to change your life. You're going to have to start keeping a Step journal. Step five, see the world. It's not good to hole up in your, you know, room the entire time. Try studying abroad in, in, you know, in uh, Spain. Exactly. Step six, join the Peace Corps. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, step five, be proud of your rabbit mouth. Yeah, she's back. Guess she's back. back Seriously, again. What, I, what I see that all I can imagine is Judy Hopps. I'm just picturing, like, like huh, I'm picturing she, like, grabs a carrot and she's just like... <laughs> <laughs> and what's up, Doc? Yeah, what's up, Doc? <laughs> oh, man, look at the boy, though. He's got some kicking sideburns. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's a sideburn so sharp you could, like, stab someone with them. Step five, get past jealousy. Much like a healthy sense of self-confidence, getting past feeling jealous of other people is an important indicator that someone has matured. Oh, I guess you're supposed to be the person on the left, staring at this conversation that's not involving you and going, I am perfectly okay with this. <laughs> I have come to understand my place in the world. Most teenage girls tend to be very jealous at that stage in their lives. If you want to stand out from others your age, you'll need to let go of your jealousies towards other people. Excuse me. This is easier said than done for many people, but it is possible. Anytime you are beginning to feel jealous towards someone, remind yourself that there is no one who can do you better than you. Yeah, I'm just going to let that speak for itself. I, I read that dirty. I'm, yeah. I'm in one of those moods. Yeah. We all did. We yeah. all did. Comparing yourself to anyone else is a waste of time. I kind of disagree, but unlike the article, I want to stay on topic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, step six, um, having blurry vision isn't good. Try to get that corrected. You've got that 2080 vision. That's not good. You're going to be bumping into streetlights and tripping on curbs all over the place. That guy's like wearing a dreads hoodie and like <laughs> a, a Russian hiking <laughs> I didn't know like, they sold. They sold. Shirt. Yeah, I didn't know they sold fur-lined hoodies in the men's section. Yeah, <laughs> no it, it's joke. mink. It's pure white mink on my hoodie. Okay. Yeah. Step six: Avoid social cliques and drama. Even if you're trying to become mature beyond your years, your current circle of friends might make it difficult to break free. Less mature groups of friends will often fall into spurts of drama or gossip. That's not something that changes with age. I shit talk people all the time. Yeah, except unlike uh, teenagers, you do it to their face. Yeah, I, I'm gonna, you know, we're gonna finish recording this, and I'm gonna like, you know, hit end on the Skype call, close the recording, lean back with my Cuban scar, and go, man, that bitch Blake, <clears throat> what a piece of shit. And because I'm not an old man, I'll be sitting here with my vape pen, just like oh, yeah. going. Oh, man, that Connor guy, he doesn't get the dankest memes. Ugh, like, oh, my God, my life is so tough. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah, the best thing for you to do is to avoid the stuff entirely. It doesn't add anything constructive to your life, and you won't be made to look good if you're associated with that crowd. Though, this does not mean abandoning your friends, even though it pretty much sounded like it meant that. <laughs> Step six, get rid of all these people and all this shit going on, but always keep them close to your hearts. Rather, you should spend time with them, but take a step back if bickering starts. Of course, if a friend of yours is hurt and wants to talk it through with you, you should do so. Being mature can also mean being a reliable friend. Well, that was pointless. Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's get out of all this self-improvement crap and getting into... Getting into attracting an older boy. Yeah, let's get into looking your best. Let's be shallow. God, I, yeah, oh, oh, uh, is that, is that the dude or the chick? I can't tell. So also, she's thinking about the new Barbie logo. Yeah, I guess so. Step one, try a new hairstyle. Because just like in video games, changing your hair always gives you more respect. Depending upon the game, it might even upgrade your stats a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I mean, sure, it costs a little bit of money, but, you know, you'll get bonuses later on. You change to those fucking cornrow dreads, that's a plus ten, you know? Nothing can make people look at your twice <laughs> than a new hairstyle. Getting your hair cut or permed will have a major effect on your appearance. You should use this opportunity to spruce up your look and turn some heads. Hey, I'm gonna make... Because, um, actually, you know, I've been, I've been living a lot this whole time. I'm an older boy, so allow me to make a uh, old reference. Oh, uh, yeah? Everybody, it's the real Jan Brady. Oh, damn. Oh, that's what I'm competing against. Yeah, you're competing against... Bra, 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 bra. <laughs> They're trying to steal your heart instead of mine. If you're trying to appeal to older groups, you are going to want to steer away from fashion trends that are reserved for juveniles. Aim to make your hair attractive, but classy. We recommend dyeing it gray and tying it in a bun. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> make sure to go to his bingo night every Tuesday night down at the local fish fry. Uh, there you'll get to yeah, mingle yeah. with all the older boys. And then add on. It's a good idea to pick a hairstyle that suits your face shape. Ask your hairdresser if you have any confusion. You know, face that's such shape. crap, it. Yeah, that's such crap. I once went into um, a place, and I asked them to do something that would, you know, work with my face shape, and they just shaved my face into my hair. <laughs> yeah. Step number two, go back up to that hill, do the sound of music thing again. Come on, once wasn't enough. Yeah, and a nice tie-way skirt, too. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, ooh, that might be, uh, that might be getting a little too close to showing the knees, though. I think we're gonna have to dial it down a little bit more. Yeah, but with those tube socks, though. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're right. Step two. Dress to suit his age range's fashion sense. So, yeah, he's, like, totally into Julie Andrews. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. He's going to take you to the opera every Thursday night. You're going to have to get used to that. Hopefully there's a step for that as well. Depending on your age, there may be things you wear that might seem juvenile in the eyes of someone older. While well, you should always ultimately find your own sense of fashion, impressing an older guy can be easier if you look at the fashion expectations for his age group. If the age gap is big enough, don't wear the boy's age... What? Hold on, what? If the age gap is big enough, don't wear the boy's age range as fashion if it will look weird on somebody your age. Yeah, I find smoking jackets can look kind of odd on some women. Yeah. Okay, seriously. We, we might have been making jokes that this was like... A 16-year-old and a 60-year-old? You know, this could totally mean, like, 18 versus 25 or some shit. But now it's just straight up, he's an old-ass dude. So straight up, like, like when you go to your grandparents' house, you start, you know, asking around if any of his friends are single and ready to mingle. Don't stand. Don't stand so. Don't <laughs> yeah. stand oh, so close to me. There's another addition, sorry. <laughs> It helps to take a look at some current fashion outlets. This will give you some insight into the latest trends. I thought I was looking for the oldest trends. Yeah, sorry, honey, but I don't think there's any fashion outlets for the 60-year-olds. It's pretty much just grandmother's knitting skirts, and that's, well, it. I don't know, you get some mom jeans. Oh, yeah, totally. Yeah, that's about it, though. All right, uh, step three. Oh, man, she's wearing, like, a sick kung fu top. <laughs> yeah. The David Carradine collection. Yeah, once you're done training at the dojo, you can uh, you can prepare for your dinner with, you know, your master or sensei or whatever. Step three, keep your makeup light. If you were a young girl, don't try to compensate for your age by using a lot of makeup. Doing so only brings more attraction to how young you are. I, I guess, okay... In addition, it also gets the impression across that you are insecure with the way you look. You'll have a much higher chance of getting a guy interested if you stay as true to your real sense as possible. Some makeup to highlight your natural features should be more than enough. I, I'm i sorry, I gotta call polls shit. You ever see those trophy wives or whatever? They always look like plastic. Fucking plastic. Although I will say I find makeup very unattractive, so. I mean, then again, I'm also not older. It depends on, yeah, yeah, yeah. It depends, I mean, but... I mean, you're an older guy, Connor, so you I mean, clearly will find... If, if um, you're going for the really rich old... If you're going for Hugh Hefner so you can inherit his beach house, I think you're going to want to lather on the makeup, I'm just saying. It's a fact that younger girls aren't, aren't often as skilled at makeup as they will be once they're older. But some of them are makeup connoisseurs, I guess. With that in mind, it's good to start small and work your way up from there. 
Eventually, your face will be caked under so much foundation, nobody will even recognize yeah, you. Yeah, by the time you're a mid-age adult, you can look, you'll can you be able to look like a fucking clown with pride. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, step four. Uh, pretty average picture, I guess. Keep your yeah. posture confident. Yeah, it's pretty fashion forward to pair that bathrobe with the, with the V-neck top and jeans. <laughs> yeah. Somehow she always has gradient clothing. Like it starts at the shoulders as dark purple and it's almost like a light brown by the time you get, you know, to the pants. Regardless of your gender or age, posture is an important way of expressing confidence and making yourself look attractive to anyone around you. Once Whether again, Connor, we're we're kind of prophetic because look, it's gender neutral. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whether you're standing up or sitting down, make an effort to keep your back straight and your shoulders even. If you're not used Soldier. to... <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. If you're not used to having good posture, this will feel a bit strange to do at first, but it will eventually feel natural if you stick with it. Back to the self-help. Um, yeah, that's right. And then in addition... Maturity and confidence are the two major ways you can get across the age gap, and posture is a way of expressing both of them. Well, geez, the why, end. Why That's didn't you, the end. Why didn't you summarize it at the beginning? We didn't have to spend 50 minutes going through this. Man, why didn't you just summarize, period? <laughs> Isn't that typically the idea? Opening statement, major points. Closing summarization, statement. Summarization, closing statement. You know, yeah. what the, you know what? This is straight up written like a high school paper. You have an opening statement, then you go on a bunch of random fucking tangents to pad out the word count. And then finally you have one or two sentences that close at the very end. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, oh, there's a community Q&A. That's oh, just, man. This is, you know, over the top. There's some serious effort put into this article. Right. Well, what if the boy ignores you? Don't be saddened or ashamed if the boy you're after doesn't talk to you. Not all boys are into girls, or maybe they're interested with someone else. He might also be ignoring you because it's not cool to be seen around you. Perhaps try to talk to him away from his friends. Hello? Once again, this is some Rayman advice. What if he ignores me? Well, maybe he's gay. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you make a teen boy look like a 12-year-old girl? Whew. If you're 12, then... Uh... Yeah, honestly, if you're 12... You probably do need to learn all the basic shit in this article. Yeah, you probably need to go back and really read the part that says, if they're older than 18. Yeah. Alright. Most teen boys won't go for younger girls. Try to act older and be as mature as possible. Talk to him sometimes, but don't talk to him every hour of every day. Start by hanging out with him, working on homework together, and slash or inviting him and his family to have dinner with your family. I guess this was written back in the Puritan era. I mean, if he's still a teen, he's going to want to be out partying and whatever. You know? Yeah. yeah. He's going to have, you know, he, he's going to drag his Xbox over to have long Halo 5 nights or whatever. Oh, wow. You got, I guess better learn to play them video games, you know? Yeah. Tips. In most ways, attracting an older boy follows the same principles as trying to get a boy your own age interested in you. Basic things like kindness and teasing don't wear out at any age. Kind well, thanks for invalidating your own article. Yeah, make, make sure to tease someone often. That's what you need to do. Yeah, yeah. Uh, relationships with an age gap should be treated as you would any other relationship. So, yeah, this article is pointless. Then. Yeah, <laughs> advice so good you're stating it twice. Yeah. And Warnings. advice so good it makes your previous advice useless. <laughs> Warnings. Don't show interest in any guy but him. If you show the same affection to a wider range of boys, you'll be seen as a tease, and you'll have a harder time getting people to take you seriously. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, don't shop around. Pick a guy and stick to him. Yeah, but like, my mama told me that you better shop around. Yeah. Well, I mean, back in the olden days, you got hitched at, like, you know, 18, and then you, you know, stayed together for 60, 70 years, so... Yeah, but that was after, like, five months of courtship. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, you're right. Nothing could ever ensure a relationship between two people will ever work out or not. Okay. Green man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Having an age gap in a relationship can be controversial and draw criticism from friends and family, which was already addressed, like, in part two. Yeah. <laughs> you shouldn't let that risk stop you if this is something you really want, but it's best to be prepared just in case. Then finally. Things can be harder to pull off the older the boy is you want to attract. Yeah. That's why you like a challenge. 
You go yeah. for the 100 year olds. I was going to say, it's really hard to attract these 90 year old men because they all have Alzheimer's. <laughs> yeah. Or That's... it might be really easy to attract them. Yeah, but then they. F- yeah, but you have to keep doing it over and over again. Oh, jeez. If Fifty First Dates was about a young girl and an old ass dude with Alzheimer's who, like, forgets every single day, that would be a way different movie. It would probably be, like, award winning movie. Fantastic performance from, like, Robert De Niro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Holy shit, I really want to see that. Fifty First Dates 2, it's like a young girl, and it's an old-ass dude with Alzheimer's, who just, like, because he has Alzheimer's, just forgets everything, like, ten minutes after the fact. Seriously. Would it be an artsy movie, or an X-rated movie, though? It would be it would be an artsy movie. It would be, would like, you an see indie this? film. Would you would see Rob- this? Sorry. Let's say it would be Robert De Niro, and then it would be, like, um... As sort of like a run back from like Spring Breakers, like Selena Gomez, just in her breakthrough super dramatic role. Yeah, I, I guess. Uh, and on that bombshell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the end of the article. I hope that taught you how to attract an older boy. Yeah, so so get to it. You know, you know, Smile, day one, day look. one, you got to start learning those life lessons. You know, like be a nice person. You know, stand up straight. Look at things, smile, like, you Look know, the, things, those smile, difficult things. Look smile, shake hands, you know. They're more scared of you than you are of them. It helps if you imagine everyone's in their underwear. Yeah, yeah. And I think that's about it. That's Thank about you for it, watching. Yeah. Thank you for watching.